When our children were very young, my wife and I took the family on a cross-country trip. Several days in the close quarters of a car can be challenging, especially when many of the conversations begin with the question, are we there yet? So we carefully planned every detail of the journey. For each of our various stops along the way, we reserved a room at a Howard Johnson Hotel. We knew that all across the country, these hotels were decorated with exactly the same wall colors, lamps, and bedspreads. To help our children feel more at home each night, we even specified that each room must have the beds on the right and the TV on the left. Sameness, we reasoned, would be comforting. The trip seemed to be going well. The children were patient, and my wife and I were still relatively sane. Then on the third night, we checked into yet another Howard Johnson Hotel. As soon as we walked into the room, which was identical to the others we'd slept in that week, our four-year-old son took a deep breath and with a tone of utter despair said, we've been driving forever and we keep coming back to the same place. Well, that's exactly what change can feel like. Despite your best efforts, some people will continue to ask, are we there yet? Some won't mind taking the trip, just not in the direction you're headed. Others will resist getting in the car at all. For most people, change really is a big deal. Change can involve the adoption of new technologies, re-engineering, mergers and acquisitions, restructuring, culture blending, new management, or any of a number of other forms. Change is a big deal because it often requires leaving our comfort zones. Change is a big deal because it touches on our sentiments and devotions, some of which may not be apparent even to us. The big deal about change is usually not about strategy or structure or systems. All of these things are, of course, important, but the core of it all is feelings. In the world of human commerce, nothing changes unless and until people's behaviors change. And the kind of behavior change that results in lasting, sustainable change must accommodate people's feelings. Feelings that involve trust, confidence, passion, and all those other intangible but very real things that make us human. You can rent a person's back and hands, but you must earn his head and heart. Change really is a big deal. That's why I've written Change-Friendly Leadership. This book is based on my 40 years of experience in the world of leadership. I've been a consultant to cabinet officers in two White House administrations. I was in charge of the communication operations at Campbell Soup Company. I was an officer of a global energy firm, and I've been a consultant and coach for senior leaders in some of the best companies in the world. I earned my PhD in organizational dynamics, but I'm an on-the-scene practitioner, not an academic. Change-friendly leadership is not about theory or classroom discussions. It's based on rock-solid, tried-and-true principles and practices that enable people just like you to transform good intentions into great performance. In the book, I tell dozens of stories about real people who have used the change-friendly protocol to excel in the real world of real challenges. You'll learn how one leader taught change-friendly practices to his colleagues and transformed his anemic company into an industry frontrunner and he did it in only 12 months. The transformation became a case study at the Harvard Business School. You'll learn how the leadership team at a nuclear power plant used change-friendly practices to transform their operation from the poster child of problems into the top performer in the entire industry. In this book, you'll learn a framework that you can adapt to any situation in any kind of organization you'll learn how change-friendly leadership infuses you and your team with renewed energy and focus. You'll discover skills that you can use immediately to get better results. What's the big deal about change? 
The big deal is that when you do it right, your change effort can be one of the success stories.